Mapua Magic 10 from the Sawyer Barns over in Burnett, Wisconsin. To his friends all. Number two, Rusty Yankee. Also from the Sawyer Barn, Larry Filebach. Gentleman George. Trained down at Mineral Point. Gabe Wand doing the driving. And Mr. Speakeasy, Joey Prevost, Green Bay, Wisconsin. All of these have been to the winner's circle a time or two this year. I mean, that's, if the winning horse and driver... Mr. Speakeasy, yeah. That, that would be our measuring stick. Somebody's dad, but there ain't no time to Exactly. Yep, and you've done this how many years? Yeah. Only a week of going in the jug. And on Thursday, by the time we get to the last race, which is the jug, it'll be like 50 minutes between races. That's just if that's if they're trying to get that gambling yeah. money. You know, yeah, to, that's all that starter is. Pat Plant calls the horses to the gate. Some of these horses rained out at Elkhorn, some rained out at Mineral Point, some rained out at Richland Center. <laughs> Gates at the head of the stretch. In the heat. <laughs> Going after a uh, rusty Yankee. Goes to battling around the turn. Gentleman George raises up on the outside. Let him go. And uh, gets command, but not by, by any can hold it. He's backing off. So maybe you have to go all the way back to third. Uh, Mr. Speakeasy. Made a break leaving, he's trailing quarter and 30. Good clip. First three, tightly bunched. They swing round that turn. Rusty Yankee, gonna bring him down to the half mile mark. Gentleman George roughing it on the outside. One oh two to the half. The pool of magic ten. Right in the golden spot. And now makes it move to the outside. Going to the three quarters. Sawyer horses racing one two. But here comes Mr. Speakeasy. He'll go three wide around that turn. 35. 135. Which one of those do you like? Mr. Speakeasy. And then the Pua Magic 10. As they head into the lane, it'll be a driving finish. Mr. Speakeasy looks like he has the advantage. Mr. Speakeasy in front. Marilyn Bozik picked the winner. 
Marilyn Mose.